How's it going everybody? Coming to you today because we are going to be looking at my concealed carry, everyday carry items for the upcoming year of 2024. Now I have made a ton of changes to my everyday carry, concealed carry for this upcoming year and for good or bad that remains to be seen but there have been a lot of changes due to changes at my work. So in the past I have not been able to conceal carry at work. It's weird law thing that's now been changed here in Arkansas, which now allows me to conceal carry. So with that being said, I had to kind of change everything on the concealed carry side uh, because of my job, because of the fact that I may be working on equipment, I may be operating equipment, and I needed some way to where I could climb up and over and around and inside an engine compartment and, you know, working on stuff without uh, printing, without showing, and without limiting my mobility. So if you're interested in seeing what I'm gonna be carrying, how I'm gonna be carrying it, stick around. We're gonna dive right into it. I'm gonna show you what I carry where, and then we will do a tailgate close-up look at each item. There will also be a link for each item in the description below. So here we go. I don't normally just wear a t-shirt uh, when I'm at work. I, I normally wear a smart material a uh, long sleeve shirt similar to this so that's underneath, uh, but this would be more indicative of what I wear when I'm out in public. So it's close enough to uh, mimic what I wear without showing you the exact shirt that I wear because it's kind of a uniform shirt. So anyway, uh, sunglasses. I am using the Oakley uh, half jackets. Not really sold on these. Um, I still really like the uh, fuel cell. And I think those are my favorite, but the uh, Oakley half jackets aren't bad. Uh, when these break or I lose them, I will go back to the fuel cell. Uh, this is just a Honda hat I picked up, but I have some sort of hat. It's usually my uh, work issued hat, but this will do a good stand in as just a ball cap. And that is kind of... Uh, everything up here. As we move down uh, in my back pocket, I have my wallet. This is the Mighty Wallet Tyvek Origami Wallet. Uh, as you can see, this thing is absolutely flat. It has been a great wallet. I have used this thing for over a year now. Uh, it holds my cards. Um, I don't have dummy cards, so I can't show you. But it'll hold several cards. Um, it holds money if you fold it in half and put it here. Uh, the only downside is that if you drop it, you can lose your cards. Uh, so just make for sure that when you put it in your pocket, you always put it the right way. I got used to it super easy. It's never been an issue after like the first day of carrying it. And then you can always just slightly pinch it and nothing will come out. I thought it was a really cool retro design. Uh, you know, your good old mixtape that you sent to your girlfriend back in the day, um, or that she sent to you. But anyway, that is the Mighty Wallet, and it's great. Highly recommend. In my left-hand side, I've got new for the year, the Streamlight Wedge, uh, the XT. I went with the FDE. Um just to try something a little bit different. I normally have everything in black. Uh, little flashlight. Um, gonna give this a try. And uh, first impressions is I like it, but that is just first impressions. Also, I have been carrying and to uh, review this uh, Roe Vivon, if I don't focus. Yeah, Roe Vivon E5. Uh, the Angel Eye. This has been a great little light. I really like it. The the five. I went with the uh, the version that will glow in the dark. Um, it's also got a UV light. It's got little uh, map light, and then you've got uh, built-in battery and the ability to add a AAA. This one I like because I can take and I can put it on my cap. It's super small. It's out of the way. Um, this one does not have the reversible uh, clip. 
so I can't stick it on my cap and use it like I could this one. But um, so far, I've been really, really, really happy with this. I'm going to end up doing a review of these two uh, versus each other. But these are the two flashlights I'm carrying. The Streamlight Wedge and the Rovivon E5 Angel Eyes. And my left side back pocket, I've got my phone. I am trying out the uh, Motorola Razor. Uh, it is the flip phone. Uh, so far, it does everything a phone is supposed to do. Uh, it does give you this little screen where you can operate and do stuff with the screen without getting totally sucked into your phone. So you get a text message, you can pull it out, look, quick text message, boom. Uh, you can respond on the outside screen. Uh, you get a notification from Facebook. You look at it and you're like, oh, that's nothing. It's not important. And you don't get sucked into looking at your phone, going to Facebook, and spending time that you don't actually have on your phone. Uh, con, the battery is very short-lived if you do get into the phone. If you're watching YouTube, playing Facebook, whatever, battery just... So the battery is the only issue I have with this. I do like the fact that it folds up small, it's out of the way, it fits in my shirt pocket, it fits in my back pocket, and it would fit in my front pocket if I didn't have stuff in there. So uh, anyway, I've been happy with this uh, so far, and that's my phone. And my left front pocket, also new for this year, is my pocket knife. This is the Swiss Tech. Uh, I don't remember the model. It's a Walmart knife. Um, open super smooth. It's got ball bearing openings. So, I mean, it is, it is smooth. Um, so far, it's opened every one of my Amazon packages without a problem. You can see it is starting to show a little bit of wear and tear here and there. Uh, I like them. I think mitocardia or however you say it handles uh, the scales. I do like those. And it flips open, locks really well. I think it's a good looking knife. Um, yeah, nothing to complain about this. Um, 20, I think it was $25 or something like that at Walmart, $30 at Walmart. So uh, the link for it will be below, but it, I think it's a good looking knife. And uh, like I said, it's opened all of my Amazon packages. You can use the nub here and open, or you can use your thumb and open. I'm not as good with it that way, but you can do it either way. Uh, that's how I've been opening it. The uh, Swiss Tech pocket knife. So far, really like it. Also in my left front pocket is where uh, things start to get a little crazy. I have got speed strips and I've actually got extra because I plan on doing some shooting. Normally I only carry two speed strips. These are the uh, Zeta 6 J strip. Let's see if it'll focus for you. There we go. Uh, these currently, these are uh, 125 uh, jacketed soft points. And these are the uh, SIG V crown. Uh, carry two of them interlaced together like this in the pocket. Like I said this one's just extra for right now because I plan on shooting. Uh, and 357. So, yeah, 357 in your pocket. There you go. My belt. I am still rocking the Core Essentials belts. These are the best belt on the market. Highly recommend. 100% go get a core belt. And if you see right here, uh, hides really well. That is the snake staff tourniquet in a uh, flat pack by uh, Filster. The Filster flat pack. And I've got the uh, snake, skin, snake staff everyday carry tourniquet. Uh, I can reach it right there. It's out of the way. I can reach it with my left hand, my right hand. Doesn't matter. It locks in really well. And if it does print, 
it just kind of looks like I got one of those cowboy belt buckles on. Um, hides really well. And uh, from everything I've seen online, these snake skin, snake staff, golly, snake staff uh, tourniquets are supposed to be good. I am using their uh, snake staff system uh, cover to keep the Velcro from sticking to clothing or whatever. But that on the Filster flat pack with the Core Essentials belt. And now the item that everybody's been waiting for, the gun. Uh, what gun am I carrying this year? Well, if I'm carrying 357 ammo, you probably guessed it, I'm carrying some sort of 357. How am I carrying it? Well, I would normally carry appendix, uh, but because of work, because of the fact that I am bent over and I am crawling into engine compartments and I am welding and cutting and all of that good stuff, I needed something to where it did not limit my mobility no matter what I was doing. And I went with the pocket carry using the Safari Land uh, 25 is the model number of the Safari Land inside the waist, or I'm sorry, not inside the waistband, inside the pocket holster. And the gun I'm carrying, it is hot. Is the Smith & Wesson MMP 357 J frame. Um, I have became a super fan of the J frames. I love my little uh, 442, but the 442, you can only do uh, 38 plus P. This one will allow me the option to carry 357, 38 plus P, or regular 38s, depending on what situation I'm in, um, or on uh, what I want to shoot or carry that day. So it gives me one extra option that the 442 did not. I've got just a uh, hockey stick tape around the grip. Helps fill up the grip a little bit, gives you a little bit more padding, uh, especially for those 357 rounds. The 340 has the big dot sight and uh, yeah, I really like this gun so far. Uh, I've got limited experience with it, but I have the exact same thing in the 442, which is uh, right here. So I have a lot of time with this platform, but the 357 is new. Uh, the 442, like I said, it is, uh, doesn't say it on that side. Oh, it's on this side. Okay. It is a 38 special plus P, uh, these are great little guns. Um, absolutely a blast to shoot, uh, really like it. So I was carrying this one and I have moved up to this one. I've got a night sight, uh, I don't know if you can see it there. I don't really wanna put my hand in front of it. Uh, I know you won't see it glowing, but it is a big dot uh, night sight. And uh, yeah, so 357 in the pocket. Okay, so now that you've seen everything that I carry and how I carry it, we're gonna break you down to the uh, tailgate. We'll go over each item a little bit closer, a little bit more detail, and we'll show some items that may get flip-flopped, replaced here and there. So here we go, time for the close-up. Okay, so as you can see, I've added a pistol and a magazine that you didn't see a while ago. And the reason for that is I will carry the Elman P340 most of the time. If I'm going to be going out of town on a conference or going somewhere where I know I won't have to work on equipment, where I know I will be uh, more office bound, I can carry my SIG P365. This is just the standard 365, no optic, nothing special. Uh, no light. I mean, it's it's just the bare bones P365. The only thing is I've added the Talon grips and I'm carrying it in the Safari Land uh, 20-365. 
this uh, wing does not come on this holster. I added that. Um, it just helps to push the butt of the gun in, make it be a little bit more concealed. So if I'm going to a conference or going somewhere like that, I will take this. But my normal everyday carry is the m and 340. Uh, I've got the SIG with a 12 round flush and I've got the 10 round as a backup and I can't remember. Yeah, it's the uh, Hornady. I don't remember, but it's Hornady hollow points is what I'm carrying in each one. Um, so I've been a good little round. It is plus P. I can't remember which one it is though. Um, but surely you can find Hornady 9mm hollow point plus P. And uh, that's what I'm carrying in this one right now. Here is a close-up look of the uh, Mighty Wallet. This is made out of Tyvek. So the same stuff that people wrap around their house. Uh, you can see Mighty Wallet. Uh, you can put cards here, here, on the back side, here. And here, and then inside here, you can fold money in half and put it. And it is super, super thin, super lightweight. And this is after a year of carrying. Uh, the Tyvek has lost some of the color, uh, but it has been a great little pocket wallet. Uh, technically, they sell this to carry in your front pocket. Uh, since my front pockets are taken, I carry this in the back. I've always carried it in the back pocket, and it's been super comfortable for me. Uh, it does limit me on what I carry, and I like that, so I'm not carrying extra credit cards I don't need. Uh, concealed carry, driver's license, one credit card. I've got a uh, debit card and one credit card over there, and then I don't have anything normally in the back. So... Uh, four to six cards works great uh, or less. If you're going to carry more than six cards, you might want something else. But, I mean, that is tiny, weighs practically nothing, and uh, I thought it was really cool. So, that is the Mighty Wallet Mini. They I think they called this their front pocket carry or something like that. Uh, but I've been using it in the back pocket, and it's been great. Currently, right now, I have been carrying the... Uh, 357 mag from SIG, the V Crown. Uh, this isn't the best ammo for a snubby, um, but it's all I could find that's enough to have spares and uh, to train with. So I do want to go to something else, maybe the Buffalo Boar uh, that's made for the short barreled, but I just haven't had a chance to order any yet. Uh, shipping really eat you alive on that stuff if you're buying a box or two at a time. So the SIG 357 mag V crown, uh, two five round reloads, which if you're reloading a J frame, things are crazy and you're probably not gonna live. But anyway, that's the ammo I'm carrying for it. The holster is the Safari Land 2501 Smith & Wesson. It's got a uh, plasticky kind of inside to help keep it from smashing all the way when it's in your pocket. Uh, this felt on the outside, it's a felt like material. It really grips the pocket well and it holds on to it. Um, the, the retention, if you just let it go, it would just fall out. But the retention of it being in your pocket and being pressed against your leg holds it securely in place. The gun, the Smith & Wesson uh, m p .357, it is just a five shot. Um, it does have that big white dot night sight I was telling you about. And then this is uh, Amazon hockey stick tape and woodland camo. It just helps fill the grip, uh, gives you a little bit more padding and a little bit grippier than the uh, stock plasticky grips that are on these little J frames. Um, I added a couple extra layers back here to help fill up my hand. 
and I might end up adding more layers back here just so I help with the length of pull. Um, as you can see, gun is empty. On length of pull, you're, you're really close. I mean, your finger and your thumb are touching. So if you could extend this back just a little bit, you know, something like that, yeah. I don't know. I'm afraid it would mess with the concealability, but I may add more later. Next, we have this little Rovi Vaughn E5 Angel Eyes. It unlocks here to where you can put in a AAA battery. It has an internal battery. Uh, you've got your UV light right there. Um, rechargeable with USB-C. This uh, plastic case here will glow. It can't really show you in the daylight, but it glows green. Uh, reversible clip. I have it this way, which puts the light up. So um, you could get these dirty carrying it this way. But that allows me the clip to clip it to my hat. And um, it's a really bright little light. I mean... It does really well. You've got several different settings. You've got high. You've got a moonlight. Medium. Um, yeah. So far, I've been really, really impressed with this little light. Indoors, the throw is great. It will illuminate a room. Um, outdoors, it really washes out because it's very wide. It's a very uh, big flood outdoors. You can still see, um, I would say, safe enough for uh, urban, but if you're out in the country, this may not be the best thing for, like, your everyday carry-only flashlight. Uh, but we'll get more into that in the review of it. But this is the Rovi Vaughn E5 Angel Eyes. Uh, I've been really impressed with it so far. Uh, the internal battery life... Eh, not the best, but it does give you the ability to have a backup battery. It is rechargeable, um, so there is that. It's not going to cost you an arm and a leg either. Uh, next here, we've got the Streamlight Wedge XT. They're five-tap lockout, ten-tap program. Um, on high, off, and that's just push button. You can tap it and go through the different ones. You can hold it. You can lock it. It is a uh, 500 lumen light, rechargeable with USB-C as well. Uh, got a little pull lanyard, little clip. Like I said, this one's brand new and this is relatively brand new. So I'm going to be testing these two out kind of against each other to see which one I like. Uh, this one is smaller, um, obviously rechargeable both. Uh, battery life is going to be better on the Streamlight. But if you get you like a good rechargeable AAA, eh, we might have to see about that. Uh, USB-C recharging on both, clips on both. Um, yeah, so the Streamlight Wedge XT uh new in the pocket so far i like it the color looks good it's almost more of a copper uh like an aged copper than a fde uh but anyway yeah so that is a close-up of the streamlight wedge here again we've got the swiss tech with the ball bearing opening uh you can see my blade's not the best because i do actually use it uh AUS8. Um yeah, I actually use my knife. So I need to sharpen it. You can see there's a little chips in it, a little bit of rust. I need to clean it up. Uh I like these scales. I like the color of them. They feel good in the hand. Not a lot to talk about with this because you know there's I'm I'm not a knife guy. I don't know a lot about knives. Um but this one has done everything I've needed it to do um, so far. I do really like how smooth the opening is. 
I mean, it's it's nice. And Amazon packages beware because it will cut them open. So that is a close-up look at the Swiss Tech. Uh, I don't remember the model number. Uh, I'll put it in the description below if I can still find it. It was just a Walmart knife, and I think, like I said, $25, 30 bucks. Quick look here. The Oakley half jackets, they're okay. Uh, I said they're just okay. I do like the uh, fuel cells better, and when these go out, get lost, get scratched up, whatever, I'm going to go back to the fuel cell. The Motorola Edge, I've got the, uh, oh, what is it, Scorch, Scosh, however you say it, a little magnet here. It actually wouldn't stay on my case. I had to file down my case because these ridges kept it from sticking. Uh, I use this in my work truck, stick it to the dash. Screen lights up, tells me if I have a message. Open up, you've got your screen here. Um, so far, this uh, what is it? Gear Four has worked uh, really well for protecting the phone, and I've got a aftermarket uh, cover uh, screen protector, and you can see it's starting to peel up. Uh, I just haven't replaced it yet. It's still working. You can kind of see right here the lines from the uh, aftermarket screen protector where it's starting to wear out. So. I've had this since this phone first came out, uh, call it six months, and it's a phone. It does what I need it to, it makes phone calls, it lets me buy stuff, it's good to go. Now what I couldn't get to fit here in the video, uh, montage of parts if you will, is the uh, flat pack carrier, uh, flatpackcarrier.com. Um, it works with some bungee cords to hold your tourniquet. Now like I said, I'm using the, trying out the uh, snake staff system, everyday carry wide. This is the wide one. They do make one that's a little bit narrower. Uh, I went with the wide, got a little bit of fuzz there. I put their little snake skin protector over to whatever they call it to protect it. This just pulls out. Um, and then you've got quick access to it. This, is like a carabiner so when you tighten down the wind windless you can just click it in you don't have to pull anything over um it is smaller in size than like the uh the cat 7 or the uh the soft t uh, normally i would have a soft t on here but i am just trying this out uh, to see if it works i do have a uh, cat seven on the uh sun visor of my truck and that's it so that's it everybody i uh hope you enjoyed uh leave your comments below on what you think of this new 2024 uh everyday carry uh what would you change what are your opinions on the gear listed have you tried any of it uh, do you like it? Dislike it? Uh, leave your comment below. I'd really like to hear from what you guys have to say. So, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, we will see you guys next time. And uh, we will be doing some more gun reviews. We'll be doing some more gear reviews and uh, get you guys kind of caught up on everything that's been going on in my uh, self-preparedness world, I guess. Uh, you've been seeing a lot of motorcycle content, not much gun content lately. And uh, going to be doing a little bit more shooting and getting stuff ready uh, for that. So, again, thank you guys. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and we will see you next time.